Good evening and welcome to our first choir concert of the year. I am really excited to be here and to have the kids up on the stage. We realized as we were practicing yesterday that this is the first time that the eighth graders, who are now over here at the high school, have sung on the stage um, without masks since the fall of 2019. So it's been a long time coming. Um, they, it was new when we got on the stage yesterday. It was kind of like, oh man, they forgot everything they ever knew about this. And then it dawned on me, oh yeah, that's because they didn't know a lot about this because it had been so long. So um, I'm very, very proud of all of the choirs, but especially proud of Concert Choir because we've got a lot of young kids in the choir. So sit back and enjoy. I hope you enjoy the music as much as we enjoy um, being able to perform for you.
There's a slight change in the program. I believe it says Legacy Lockhart and Lenora Miller will be our RAID leaders. It will actually be Legacy and Addie Samuels will be stepping in for Lenora Miller this evening. Our next song is about rain, and with your help, we are going to fill the room with the sounds and feelings of a magnificent thunderstorm. First, you'll experience a quiet rustle of the wind, then the pitter-patter of raindrops. Soon, you will hear the roaring thunder and the sound of rain as it becomes a downpour. Gradually, the thunderstorm will pass, and you'll feel the return of quiet and peace. In the middle of our song, our rain leaders will step out from the choir to lead you in the sounds of the thunderstorm. They'll point to you like this. When they point to you, make the sound or motion they show you. It's important that you keep making that sound or motion until they point to you with a new sound or motion. After the, th after the thunderstorm, you'll experience the quiet after the storm. Then the choir will sing a short musical ending. And remember, no talking, to the thunder no talking during the thunderstorm. Just listen. Listen to the rain.
evening. That darn quarantine thing gets the best of us every once in a while. Um, I just wanted to say a little bit about the second piece that the girls did for the beauty of the earth. As we were rehearsing yesterday, Mrs. Shelley said, oh, I sang this before when I was in college. And so it's a very difficult piece. The composer's John Rutter, and he's very well known in the music world as a composer, but he writes some tough stuff. So that was the girls' challenge piece, and I'm very, very proud of them for how hard they worked on that. Not only do they look pretty, they sound pretty too. So we have one more song for you.
before Manitas sing their last song, um, I want to hurry because first of all, there's the bonfire tonight and we've got football players up there and we have volleyball players up there and we have soccer players who had to, one soccer player who had to leave the soccer game early so he could be here in time. And then we had Jake Freeman who had tennis sectionals tonight. He won his match, but he made it here in time as well. And so, um, <laughs> these are just really, really great, well-rounded kids. And I am so incredibly proud of them, given all the obstacles they've overcome in the last year and a half. And they're a young group. Um, I was looking at our altos, and none of the altos were in Manitas last year. So this is all new for them to sing in a mixed choir. Um, only two of the sopranos were, and then there's all the freshman boys, <laughs> which we love dearly, but as we call them in class, freshmen. <laughs> all right, one last song for you, Proud Mary. Come on, 